What's up guys, Axis here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create a watch face in Illustrator. Um, this is, tutorial is kind of inspired by my last project, which um, I'll have linked in the top right card annotation, so you can see what the watch face is going to look like. But it's really simple, um, and even someone that doesn't have any uh, illustration knowledge like me was able to learn it, so you should be able to. Um, so let's just get into Illustrator and do Control uh, N or Command N if you're on Mac. And then change the units to pixels, which is what I normally work in. And I'm going to do 5000 by 5000. If you have a lower end computer and you don't want to work in such a high resolution, then turn it down to like a 1000 by 1000. But the reason I'm doing this is just so if I have a macro shot, then I won't get any pixelation when I zoom in. But if you don't mind about that, if you're doing uh, no macro shots or anything, then just put it to 1000 or something like that, and that will work fine as well. And just so we get this center right, I'm going to create a circle here. If we just click this here and then right click, go to Eclipse or click L. And then if you drag out while holding Control and Shift, then it'll create a perfect circle. And then I'm going to fill this in with black, and I'm going to center it as well. I'll scale it down as well. And then what we can do is we can create the text for the uh, letters. It's going to be 60 for the top one. So as you can see, it's really small here. So I'm going to keep in the text mode. I'm going to click anywhere. And I'm going to do Control A or Command A. And we can highlight this. Hold Shift and then pr click the arrow key. Or you can use a drop down to choose a certain amount uh, of size. But that looks fine for me, I think. Something like that. And we're going to put the paragraph on center aligned. And we're going to then click onto the selection tool. And we're going to center this in the uh, whole canvas here. And then we can drag this up. If we hold shift, it will stay on a straight line. Or whatever axis we're pulling on. So it's going to do like that. And then if I click R for rotation. And then we hold alt. And then come around to where you think the center is, and when you get it, it will tell you where the center is, and then you alt-click on the center. And since we've got 12 um, letters here, and it's in a circle, all we're going to have to do is we're going to do 360 divided by 12, which is 30. We copy this, and paste it into the angle, and then preview it, and we can copy this, and then if we just do... Control D or Command D, which will duplicate this as many times as we want. And now we can go through here, typing in all the minutes that we need. Uh, you could do six if you want, and you, it could go in tens. But I'm going to be doing all the uh, basically what I did in the speed art. Okay, there we go. Now we've got everything, and now we just need the minute spacings. So all we have to do now is we have to do 360 divided by number of minutes in an hour, which um, is 60. So now we've got six. Um, we just create a rectangle tool. I'm actually going to make this not have any fill anymore because I want to be able to see inside. Uh, and then I'm going to maybe put a stroke on it so I'm able to actually still see it. So I'm going to zoom in here a bit with Control and Plus. And then I'm going to create a little spacer here. Something like that, uh, I think will be fine. Just create it to whatever size you want. Um, we also have a stroke on this which we don't want, so get rid of the stroke and I'm going to put on a fill instead. And if we uh, zoom in a bit, we can actually drag these little circles out. They're kind of hard to see, but it's going to make the rectangle rounded. And then we are going to center this. This might actually be too small, so I'll just check. I'm going to drag it up while holding shift so it's in the center. Something like that. And then make it the same size as the text, lengthwise, of course. So I'm going to have to zoom in to actually get this, if I can get it at all. Come on. <laughs> uh, that might do it. If we hold Alt, then it's going to scale up on both sides. 
And that's roughly the same size, slightly bigger, I think. So I might bring it down a bit. Come on. Uh, something like that. And click on that again. And we're going to do this same thing that we did for the uh, the minutes here in tens. And we're going to do R for rotation. Hold Alt and click in the center again. This time we're going to do six. To copy. And then we're just going to duplicate this all the way around here until we get back to the beginning. And we're going to click V and we can just start deleting all the ones that overlap the text. Like this. Of course there may be an easier way of doing all this, but um, this is just the easiest way I've found to do it. And there's not really any disadvantage to it. Um, so yeah, that's it. And all we have to do now is delete this, and then we can save this out. If you're going to save it um, into, like, to use it as a texture, you're going to want to have no transparency. So if we do, I think it's Control shift alt and s for a web save. Then, uh, if we uncheck uh, transparency, then we won't have any transparency. You'll know if it's transparent because you're going to have all these checkered boxes in the background. But that is going to make it so that you'll be able to put it on a texture. And yeah, that'll work. So if this helped any of you guys out, leave a like. Subscribe for more like this. And also, please give me suggestions on more tutorials to do. Because I need ideas. <laughs> I don't have any more. Um, so yeah. And you just save this out and bring it into Cinema 4D or where are we going to bring it? See you in the next tutorial.